one I'm back to give you another as you can see I'm on a very hazardous planet with extreme storms it's extreme radioactivity even when the storms aren't here see we're at 31.1 rads right now but I came down to this planet and I found these really cool I uh, can't really see it that let's see if I'll pick it up. there we go for the moon helps got these big spires just all over the place throughout this planet as I was coming down I saw several of them but I decided you know what let's make a research base here based around one of these spires so first I'll take you around the outside just to see what I've got there and then I'll take you inside the base so first you've got our landing pad here with our tunnel into the base this planet I'm not trying to hide things it's mainly just uh, hey it's radioactive so let's stay out of the radioactivity I've got a biodome on this side of the base filled with vegetables being made for the food inside the base and you come around here got another entrance into the base for anyone who's using exocraft and here is the um, garage for the exocraft I've got a Colossus in here because I figured that would make the most sense on the radioactive planet like this something with huge shielding to see is a nice little tower and I'll show you all the insides of that in just a moment we're gonna head back around to the landing pad and head on in so once you've got the entrance you've got your decontamination areas since it's so radioactive out I'm using these lights like a decontamination thing so you've got three different sets here you've got the place to leave your weapons in this decontamination room and then for the major decontamination um, room I've used the red lights and I put a um, appearance modifier to be like your major decontamination unit here you've got where the base secretary is going to be along with the pad to go and sign in on come through here just a little lit area got some of these lights up to show that perhaps there's still more um, excavation to be done or something. Come down this way and you've got the main sitting area. You've got a food area, There's two tables and menus for each table for each person. It's only a small base so it doesn't need more than four chairs and then over here you have the entertainment center which right now the TV hanging from the ceiling doesn't really have much on it over here I've got the start of my personal areas I'm going to try building this up more excuse me in this little room off of the personal area I've got my base teleport over here I've got my save point and my message cylinder welcoming people through here I have the small bedroom for my guy 
fancy or special, just a small little bedroom. Probably gonna create a couple more just for the other people in the um, that here, the scientists and all. Come through here, this is the biodome. You can see the food being grown for the common area. Go back out and cut across the common area. We get to our work area. I've got the scientist thing here, the farmer, and the base construction, and then a desk for the boss. We come in here. This room is empty at the moment, but it, well, not totally empty. It's got some diagnostic stuff in it, but this runs to a couple other rooms. First, if we go down, this is our power and control room. So we've got all the power spheres, the things running them, water sewage stuff, servers, things like that. Then if you climb upwards instead, You get into an observation room. From here, that's going to take a bunch of um, readings on the environment outside, which you can see very nicely from here. Got a couple workstations back here. And then we head back to the main area. And if you go up these steps, it goes up to our last area. You've got this room, which is just your little exchange galactic trade terminal room. I hate that I have to make a specific room for it, but unfortunately you can't just put them on the prefab walls. And you've got this. There's another super radioactive supercell approach. Come through here, and you have another deca decontamination room, which this time I just put all the decontamination into one room. And again, the appearance modifier as your bio decontamination. This is what leads outside to where the garage is. That's my current setup for Hrothgar Station. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably be doing a little more decorating and like I said, maybe make it a few more bedrooms for the scientists and all. But um, that's what I've got so far. And hope you guys enjoy it. If you like seeing how my bases are set up and all keep watch on the channel as I'll be updating basically constantly with more bases that I create I'm trying to make every single one a little bit different so that it's always something new and interesting um, hopefully with beyond coming out on the 14th we'll get to have even more decorations and building options that we can choose from which would be awesome And um, so just keep checking back. My main focus is just exploring the universe in creative mode and then just letting my creativity run wild. Um, the only bad thing with this one is as you can see some things don't match up. You've got layers here and I had to go upwards here and over here to get to where I wanted and that was because it is very hard creating something in a round area and getting everything to match up right when you're digging into the round area. But I think it came out pretty 
nicely. I'm happy with this base. I think it's a cool little exploration base. So remember everyone, um, if you're looking for people to play with in the game, which it's supposed to have better online um, multiplayer coming out with Beyond, that um, a great place to go is the No Man's Sky Amino. Um, that's where I've gone for a lot of this stuff. I've learned a lot of tips and tricks from other players. We're constantly sharing pictures of interesting animals we've come across or our bases. And it's just a really fun, non-toxic place to go and get with like-minded people for No Man's Sky. So check back for other bases coming soon, and we'll talk to you later.